first, then affiliation when you ask your question. Then we'll start with opening comments from Coach. Questions for student athletes first, let them get out of here, and then back to Coach. So, Coach, if you can get us started with some comments on the match. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it obviously we, we, uh, we got off to a little bit of a slow start. You know, we made too many errors, uh, kind of un, uncharacteristic of off our regular kind of uh, plan. Um, but really proud of the guys, uh, you know, settling down and playing. We battled back in that second set. Obviously, that was a big turning point in the match. Um, and then we just missed a few serves in the third set. That was, that's always a kind of concern of ours that we pressed a little bit. But, uh, you know, got in some rhythm in both the fourth and fifth set and played at a pretty high level. Uh, and I thought, it, as it has happened all year, uh, it was a good team win for us. Austin came in off the bench and gave us a big lift. And uh, obviously, the play of Dalton Solbrig getting out there, being down. Uh, a starting senior middle, you know, I said at one point, you know, we've been a pretty veteran team with, with Jennings and, and uh, Capono and, and Hendrick on the floor for us, guys that really mean a lot to the program and been around a long time. And uh, all, I look out there, all of a sudden it's like a couple freshmen, three, four sophomores, um, and they did a great job. So I couldn't be more proud of the, uh, the performance they put in and, and coming out with a win. Any new questions for student athletes first, please? Jennings, Vinny Lopes here from off the block. Fifth game, you guys had zero attack errors. What were you able to do to make the offense run so successfully in that decisive game? Uh, our passers were great. I mean, we were insistent pretty much that entire set. Same thing in that fourth set, too. Uh, it makes the setter's job really easy when our passers are diamond, everything like that. And the hitters were just making smart swings. Uh, yeah, good job, Austin. Um, but both Austin and Brett in that uh, fifth set were just two on the block, making great swings, smart swings, uh, same as Stein. So um, credit to them, really. Uh, they just made my job a lot easier. Um, Cindy Lewis, our advertiser, um, Austin, how did you feel to go back in? You haven't been playing that much since early in the season. Uh, what was your mindset when you uh, came in? Um, my mindset was really just to get the like the team going. Like from the bench, like we all saw, like no one was really in it. Like everyone was like physically there, but mentally no one was there, and so. The coaches told me to like when I go in like to bring like the fire to, like try to get the guys going and like even in the beginning I didn't really think I did that well but I think as the game went on um, the energy picked up a lot. Stein, Vinny Lips here again from off the block. Twenty kills tonight for you. What were you seeing in the Penn State defense and how were you able to get around their blocks tonight or over a three of them? <laughs> um, I think in the beginning me and Jennings had great connection. Uh, then it started to get a little way for me, but uh, at the end I was like, doesn't really matter if you score or not, or or doesn't matter what you do as long as you uh, make sure that you eventually win the point. So uh, I was just at the end I was just like, uh, as long as we get the win, uh, doesn't really matter. Just swing as hard as you can and and uh, may do a great, good job. Uh, I mean, different guys are going to have different sets, but uh, I mean, we get enough reps in practice where that, that's not really an issue. Uh, the team is so close, regardless of who's on the court, uh, that everyone's just going to do their job. And really, uh, like I said earlier, I mean, it just makes it easy on me. Um, you know, we, we do a really good job of complimenting each other. Uh, and that's been our story all year. And that's a huge reason why uh, we're still playing right now is just because uh, it doesn't matter who's in there. Everybody's bought in and uh, ready to compete no matter what. Else for students. A couple questions for you, Stein. Um, uh, you guys uh, really kept uh, Chris Nugent in check. He only, he only had three, uh, sorry, uh, five uh, kills in the last four sets, um, and he hit negative for the all max What was the key to uh, keeping his uh, attack in check? Uh, we've been working on that all, all season long, all year long, and uh, Charlie keeps putting pressure on us to move our feet and get up to the ball, and I think. Uh, in the end, we're all like super dial in, make sure uh, that they don't score because in our uh, before the game, you know, they have two great outsides uh, and we need to slow them down. And in the end, um, that uh, really worked. You know, another question. Uh, you you uh, have been the workhorse for Hawaii all season long, but you, tonight you took it to a whole other level because uh, Faye's uh, struggles. Uh, I mean, uh, during the timeouts, I was I was saying like, you got to play for for everyone, and I was just uh, 
I, I mean, I love Capono and I love uh, Henrik and I love I love everyone on the court. And then uh, I looked at Capone on the side and I was like, I just I just want to play another time. I just want, you know, he's a great player. He's such a great player. And I, and I just uh, want to play for them. Gentlemen, sir, you can tell the court. Uh, Stein, on, on TV tonight, I called your block solo in the fifth game, uh, maybe your greatest moment. You turned around and give your <laughs> celebration. And you said earlier in one of our packages that your improved blocking is more important. Your block solos are a happier moment for you than kill. Do you still believe that? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, credit to Charlie, too, because uh, We've been working on that, moving your hand, looking at the ball like every day of practice. And I think I got one earlier too in the game, but that got called out. So, uh, um, yeah, that is, I just, a lot of things went through my mind and just, I saw I had one up and I, I knew like that is just routine at that point. Like I, kn I knew what to do. So uh, that was awesome. Just to come out in a fifth set, such an important moment. Uh, that was awesome. James, one final question for me. How would I scale one to ten? How would you rank Stein's celebration there in the fifth game after? Oh, it's every every one of Stein's celebrations a ten. I mean, you, you can look at all the photos. He's always like staring up into the sky, just screaming. Uh, so that no, that that's huge for us. When somebody cheers that much, you know, it's contagious. You know, everybody wants to compete with that that celebration then as well. So Stein did a great job of getting us a little energy boost. I got one thing I want to add to that. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to say, um, you know, hats off to Penn State. Great program. <coughs> Mark Pavlik is a uh, class act, one of the best coaches in the country. And uh, they had a great season. And, you know, I'm really proud to, to get a chance to get on the court and compete against him. And uh, I just feel it's important to, to, to acknowledge uh, just what a great guy he is and what a great program they are and how much respect <coughs> we have for them. We'll go ahead and dismiss our student athletes now. Thank you. Uh, I wasn't involved in that decision. I just like that. We I just let the captain deal with that, and uh, I don't even know if he if he picked it. Like I don't. <laughs> I really don't know what how that came about. Yeah, we we were looking. One, it's a bit of a, a matchup, but also. Um, uh, wanted to start Austin left front and want to set Brett from the service line. You know, Austin, uh, I mean, he finished the match with no kills. And we started the fourth set with him left front, and Jennings didn't set him until he got right front. And I, and I I said to him in the first time out, like, do you know why we started and <laughs> where we did? And he's like, yeah, you want to get Austin. So um, yeah, Austin, uh, you know, came in and gave us a huge lift and won a little bit different blocking matchup, but uh, wanted to give Jennings another option uh, attacking and get Austin across the front maximum number of times. Coach, I want to ask you, in the second game, you're down by about four points, able to rally back. How big was that win to avoid going down 0-2? Well, it was huge. And let me say, Vinny, it's nice to put a face with uh, a voice. 